Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. How are you all doing this marvelous Monday morning? So I want to jump right in this video, and I want to start talking about Portia and Simon again. I, I just can't get past it. Every time I turn around, I'm finding out something new about their relationship. But anyway, this focuses more on Phelan, okay, Simon's wife. In my previous videos that I've did about this relationship, about the star on Housewives of Atlanta, Portia, her newfound beau, Simon, and his wife, Phelan. You know, it's like a, it's a, a triangle. It's a love triangle. Well, anyway, in my video, I'm always saying, where is Phelan's lover? Because Simon is always accusing Phelan of being the first one to cheat, okay? And I'm hearing in the blogs that Phelan has always been accused of cheating before Portia even came into the picture, okay? Now, in my last video... I put a question out there. Portia has said in the past that she was dating a rich African man, but she would never give the name to her cast members who asked her, who is this rich man? Does he have a brother, a cousin, a friend? Because he's doing you so well. I want to know somebody like that. But she would never tell who this rich African man was. Fast forward to present day. She has a rich African man named Simon. And I'm wondering, was that the same man that she was always bragging on but never revealing? Because he was married to Phelan, they were hiding it. That's just my observation and my thought. I'm not even saying that's the case, right? So I always also ask the question, if Phelan is cheating, where is her lover? Where is he? Why is he letting her take this all on by herself, right? Well, I'd be John Brown if Friday I don't read in the blogs that Simon has come forward with a man. His name is Jalen Banks, okay? Now, I think that's just a little bit coincidental, Phelan and Jalen, <laughs> you know? But that's neither here nor there. But this young man supposedly is a friend of Phelan and Simon, okay? And he... Phelan and Simon took him under their wing and took them out, took him out of the country. I guess brought him to the states, and he was thanking him on a po thanking both of them on a post, saying how they were the first ones to take him out of the country. You know, he just like having friends like that. He appreciates it. You know, they show some pictures of the young man, and he took pictures with Phelan and Simon. Then he took some pictures along with Phelan. Simon is accusing Phelan of now being pregnant by this young man. And the reason why he's putting her out of the house is because she's pregnant by Jalen and living in his home. And basically, and he's not going to tolerate it. He's not going to put up with it, okay? People are saying that Phelan has had a man first. And now Simon has Portia. And that's why he's bringing it out to let everybody know that he's not a cheater and Portia is not a home wrecker. Phelan started the drama. I don't know because I haven't heard anything from Jalen yet. Not saying that he won't come out and say something. You know, she doesn't look pregnant to me. That don't mean she's not pregnant. I always wanted him to bring out a man. He was always accusing this woman. And this is all allegedly because I don't know. But he's always accusing the woman of being an adulterer. And that's why he's treating her the way that he's treating her. I don't know if she cheated or not, but I wanted to see a man. He did show a photo of the man. Now I'm waiting for this man to start speaking and tell him what's going on, if he really did or not. Then I'm curious to know that Simon, he had so much money. Did he pay Jalen? Did he pay him to, to go along with this? What's going to be the, the deal breaker is if Phelan is not pregnant. Because Simon's saying that she's pregnant. If she's not pregnant, then, you know, that's going to put a whole other spin on this, on this situation. If she's pregnant, then homegirl needs to get a blood test. Because in the beginning, they were saying that she was pregnant and Portia was pregnant. And they were both, everybody was assuming it was by Simon. So if she's really pregnant, she needs to get a blood test to prove whose baby this is. And God, I hope it does not come out to be this young man. I hope that Phelan just was not cheating. I hope that that wasn't the case. But if so, it still takes me 
me back to he should have got his divorce before he went on with Portia because that put Portia in the situation of being an adulteress. It does not matter if a person cheated on you. It doesn't matter if a person left you. I know people are saying, I have read, I've read in the blogs, and I've heard people say it in, in human form. You know, well, I'm separated. He's separated. You know, it's been two years. We're dating now. Why should I have to wait? Why haven't you got a divorce? Why would you be married for two years, but you're not with your husband or your wife? Why not? After a year, you should be divorced. So no, you could go on and you can date. That's not the problem. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it still puts you in a situation of being an adulteress because at the end of the day, you're still married. You're still married. That's the point. You know, well, sh why should Simon have to wait? You know, him and Phelan separated. They should go ahead and get, um, he could start dating if he want to. Okay, yes. I see that logic. If a person is separated, you know, they should go on and move on. Move on to the divorce court first because it still puts you in the position of being an adulteress. The key word is you are still married and it will look, you're still an adulteress. You may not be cheating on the person because the person is not with you anymore. Y'all not together. They know you got a girlfriend. They know you got a boyfriend. Y'all done moved on, separated completely from each other, got different lives. The thing that's still causing you to be an adulteress is the, is the divorce. You need to get the divorce because it's still legal obligations that need to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Just say that you are still married to your spouse and you're a woman. You're still married, okay? And, and, and you get pregnant by your new man, okay? Now, gentlemen, you're still married to this woman, you done moved on with your girlfriend. She done moved on with her boyfriend. She gets pregnant by her new man. She could say, I'm married. Y'all get back together. That's your baby. The courts can hold you responsible for another man's child. Yes, the courts can. You may say the courts can't, but the courts can hold you responsible for the child because you're still legally married. This man could hit the road and, and, and disappear. You and her get back together, that's your child because you're with the wife. You're with the wife. If you go and you purchase land, your wife is married to you. You accumulated the, you accumulated the land while you're still married. So as far as the court system is concerned, this is your wife's land too, because you accumulated the land while you were still married. It's still obligations that have to be met and that you can protect yourself from by getting this divorce. So I know Simon is saying, well, I done moved on. You know, I went Portia, you know, but in normal lives that people that don't have money, it can set the stage for just a down, a downward spiral. You know, I knew a girl that was separated from her husband for about three years, wasn't with him anymore. She had a new man. Matter of fact, let me take that back. She wasn't separated. She was married. Her and her ex-husband had a bank account together and she never cleared that up. They weren't together anymore. They weren't sharing the bank account anymore, but she was still using the bank account. Never thought to take his name off the bank account. He was gone. He owed income taxes. They went into her account. Okay, they did not let me, and I'm, I'm going to fix this because now that it's coming back to my memory, his name was no longer on the account, but he was still banking at the same bank and they had been married and his name used to be attached to her account. She told me that now, you know, they took $1,500 from her. This was some years ago, but they went into her account and the IRS took it because that is the bank account that they had listed on their IRS forms when they were a couple. So the IRS tiptoed right in there because he had went and hadn't paid nothing on the on the bill. So that's what I'm saying. You can you move on, but you need to move on and just end everything. Get everything settled and then move on. Then I'm understanding that Phelan has a gag order that she can't speak on the situation on the situation in depth. But Simon's spilling tea all over the place. So how was that fair?
you know, if he could speak on it, she should be able to speak on it too, you know? So it's a whole mess. I'm anxious to see what's going to happen now with this new boyfriend, what's going to be said, what he's going to say, what Phelan's going to say about this new, this, um, lover and this baby. I don't know if they're supposed to be together or she cheated with him in the past and then she's pregnant. F Simon supposedly found out about it. I don't know, but he's trying to play this role that he's so angry with her and that's why he's doing her the way that he's doing her. This still does not warrant him and Portia humiliating her the way that they are humiliating her. He needs to still take the high road, be a man about it, fix his situation and then move on to Portia. And Portia being the lady that she claims she is should have wanted it that way. So it won't be nothing coming out. I won't be in the tabloids. I won't be in the paper. Nobody's calling me a home wrecker. I don't have to defend myself. Let's take care of this. If Phelan cheated on you, divorce her, do what we got to do, split the property, do everything you got to do, then come for me. You know, I still say that Portia and Simon have been going together for a while. That's my opinion. I don't know. I can't see that. I can't see back in the past, but I believe they was going together for a while. And I believe that uh, Portia and Simon was cheating first and he accused him failing because he know what he was doing. That's my opinion. It, norm, it goes like that a lot of times, but again, that's my opinion. It could be wrong. That's just what I think. Until some more comes out, some more things unravel, that's what I think. That's my opinion. We're all entitled to our opinion. Does not make me right. Does not make me wrong. I could be right. More things are going to unravel, I'm sure, with this saga. You know, it's just like, uh, you know, why is it got to be so complicated? Just go on. Spill everything and just move on to the next person, you know? But anyway... With that being said, I'm going to say Phil Donke. That's thank you very much in German. So Phil Donke for watching me and choose. That's what? That's buying German.